roll the braids in one direction like so all the way to the end so what you're doing when you do this you're controlling the curls to stay in one place So we are done with the Bohemian Box Braids course and I know that by now you know how to do the Bohemian Box Braids using the technique that I just showed you. Um, so this is the finished look of the Bohemian Box Braids. Um, as you can see it is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. It is so light. It's not heavy. Does it feel heavy? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> not heavy. <laughs> right. So you see what I'm saying? like. When you follow with the way that I showed you, step by step, you will definitely have the look that we have right now because just make sure that you follow through with the tutorial and you'll be good. Um, I also just want to say that um, before you even begin to do the braid, because I'm probably sure you know you're going to watch the tutorial first before you actually practice, um, I just want you to set your mind, set your intention to get it right. So when you set your intention to get it right, as you go on with the braid, you will even begin to come up with, you know, the way that you want the structure to be. Like I said, you can get the tree structure whichever way you start. If you want to start with um, no curls, you can still get the tree structure, but it's just all about you setting the intention to get it right. Once you set the intention to get it right, you're going to observe as you go and you're going to figure out places where you need to put curls, places where you need to put accessories, places where you need to add layer the braids and so on and so forth. So like I said, the technique is really all about you. It really depends on you. It depends on you just being present with the hair. It depends on you just paying attention with the hair and just pouring your energy into doing the braids. Because trust me, when I finish doing this hair, I get super drained <laughs> because the hair takes a lot of energy it takes a lot of your focus okay so that's pretty much the technique is the details 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 if you're not detailed if you're not present with the hair you're not going to get the boho box ways to look like this it may look like it's just adding curls but trust me by the time you're done it's gonna look totally different it's not going to look like this okay so I I feel like <clears throat> there are probably could there are definitely questions that you guys may have concerning the style, which is why I'm going to go over the questions. So I just want to talk about you know the boho box braids, the history of the braids. Um, pretty much, I did not create the style, but I definitely came up with my own method, my own technique of doing it. The boho box braids is it, it came from you know the um, the time that the goddess Fola came out. And then with Zoe Kravitz, when she had like the human hair um, braids with curls on the ends, so it's just a combination of goddess locks and the Zoe, Zoe Kravitz braids. But the only difference with the boho is that it has like the curls in the body of the braids as well, as you can see. Of course, it has um, curls sticking out. So the curl sticking out is pretty much from the idea is from like tree braids. I'm not sure if you're familiar with tree braids. So tree braids is like cornrow style that you know as you go you just see pieces of hair sticking out from left and right. So that's what the that's where the idea came from with the boho braids. So it's, it's a comp combination of goddess lock with the Zoe Kravitz um, braids with curly hair on the ends and then tree braids. So that's pretty much how the style came about. And then yeah, I just came up with my own technique. Um, yeah, about how long the style will last. So the style will last you two months, and you can definitely get a touch up um, after you wear it for like a month and a half. You can definitely get a touch up in like a month and a half if you want to wear it for like two months and a half to three months. Um, but yeah, two months is, is, is a good time to wear the braids. And um, of course, I wouldn't recommend you go over it two months because of course you want to allow your hair to breathe and then um, you can just take it out. So for the touch up, what I do is I take out like three rows of the braids like so, all around the perimeter. So I just rebraid the same way that I did it. It's the same way I'm just gonna rebraid around. So that's for touch up, okay? Which 
put you through like in a month and a half if you want to do a touch up. And um, can you wash the braids? You can definitely wash the braids, especially if you're getting touch up. You can wash the braids. Um, so when washing the braids, you want to make sure that um, you just use a uh, regular shampoo water. Do not squeeze shampoo on your hair. So what you do is you pour shampoo in a, in a bowl of water or a bucket of water and just shampoo water you just pour on your scalp and you use your fingertips gently to massage your scalp. Do not squeeze shampoo on your hair because you don't want the shampoo, some of them to get stuck, especially the areas where the knot is made. So you use shampoo water gently with your fingertips under the shower or I don't know if you're using a bucket, just gently with the shampoo water and you don't want to use conditioner okay so the only thing you do shampoo water gently massage your scalp focus on your scalp do not wash the braids just focus on your scalp and when you're done washing you just allow it to air dry or if you want you can just blow dry it with uh, the dryer on low heat you can blow dry it and then you can use a leave-in conditioning spray so that's why I said do not use conditioner because you may struggle with getting the conditioner out if it gets stuck where the knot is made. So you can use a leave-in conditioning spray. If you wash, this is what you do. Any brand of leave-in conditioning spray is, is fine as long as you just use a leave-in conditioning spray after you're done washing. Do not use conditioner. And um, <clears throat> so you can definitely wash with regular water, but I don't recommend um, people going swimming with their hair. Um, just because <coughs> just because when you go in the pool like with chlorine or salt water it's not good for the braids they will tend to freeze out because of the curly hair that is added if you go swimming in salt water or chlorine water the, the curly hair will tend to freeze out so there is no hair that gets in the pool or gets in salt water that comes back the same the salt and chlorine is not good for any kind of braids. I don't care what people say, but it's not gonna come back the same. It's not gonna look the same. But when you're washing with regular water, it's fine. Again, make sure you focus on your scalp. Do not wash the body of the braids. Okay, that's not dirty. Just your scalp. If you need to wash, and um, <clears throat> so no swimming, of course. And the the you probably want that be wondering which um, hair texture can get the boho braids any um hair texture can get it done i've done the boho braids on people with um type 3 hair type 4 hair and even type 2 hair even if you you know you have like the um really straight straight hair like the white white people's hair that's really straight and silky you can definitely get the bow the boho box braid because the braiding hair is good enough to you know to grasp your hair so any texture can definitely wear it for um, forcing hair, just make sure that you blow your hair out really well, detangled. <clears throat> but even if you have three C hair like she did, she blew blew her, her hair out before we, we began to braid. So just make as long as your hair is not tangled, you're good to go. Whatever hair type you have, you can definitely wear the bow and box braids. Um, <clears throat> okay, so also before you start braiding, um, I would recommend if you're very sensitive with your scalp. <coughs> I'm sorry, I just have some cold. <coughs> but if you're very sensitive with your scalp, I would recommend that you do apple cider vinegar rinse before you start braiding. So you take the jumbo braiding hair, you can rinse with um, apple cider vinegar in warm water, and you just soak the hair, bring it out, and allow it to air dry. That's if you know you're sensitive. Um, the thing, the truth is, you don't know you are. You react to hair except you try it. So you don't know if you will react unless you try it. But if you feel like you're very, very sensitive, you can definitely rinse it so that way you feel more comfortable. But yeah, that's before you start to break. So, um, so I want to talk about the packs of hair that you need for every um, length. Um, so if you're doing shoulder length, <coughs> back, waist, or hip length, so let me start with hip length. If you're doing hip length, you need um, six packs of the jumbo braiding hair. One pack of Kima braid is fine for whatever length you're doing. And one pack of either of the curls, the wavy or the deep curl or the cube, um, um, 
human hair blend is good we definitely are going to finish the human hair blend with one full head so you can definitely use it again if you if you're doing the bubble braids next time it's more than enough to go around like five times because you're not doing too many you're not using too many curls so for waistline you need five packs of jumbo braiding hair one pack of the kima braid and one pack of each of the human hair blend again if you're getting the human hair blend for the first time you can definitely use it over and over and then for shoulder length you need three packs of the jumbo braiding hair one pack of kima <coughs> braid and the human hair blend either of the curl patterns so that's pretty much the amount of hair you need so the only thing you're really changing is the jumbo braiding hair so yes that's pretty much all you need to get started with the bohemian box braids if you have any more questions feel free to ask me so right now i'm just going to show you what to do before you go to bed okay <clears throat> so you want to make sure that you always moisturize your scalp while you have the style because this is a protective hairstyle but then it also exposes your scalp so you want to make sure that every maybe every two days you put scalp oil and before you go to bed put the hair in two sections like this <coughs> and then you're going to make sure you take all the curls in and you just roll the braid in one direction like so all the way to the end so what you're doing when you do this you're controlling the curls to stay in one place make sure you roll the braid in one direction before you go to bed so you do it on one side you hold it with a, a, a little um, rubber band or a scrunchie you, you hold the ends you can do it on one braid but it's usually um, <coughs> easier to just roll two braids so you hold it with a scrunchie like so take it to the back and then you're going to do the same on the other side you're going to roll the braids on the side you can take all the curls in and you just roll it make sure the curls is rolled in like so <coughs> roll 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 all the way to the end hold it with another scrunchie like so And then you're going to take the hair, both of them that you rolled, to the back. I'm going to turn it around and I'll show you. <coughs> you take both to the back, like so. <coughs> take both to the back. And you just, again, roll it, roll it, roll it, put it in place. And then you wear a bonnet over it. So we don't have a bonnet right now, but you know what to do. So you just wear a bonnet over it and you will be good. The reason why I say roll the braids is so that when you take it out, the curls are not going to get tangled when you're sleeping. Because if you sleep with the braids without rolling them, you know, of course, when you're sleeping, you're, you're applying friction to the curls and then they're going to get tangled. So make sure you roll it before you sleep so that the next day you take them out it's going to be nice and free and there will be no tangles nothing you easily put your fingers through it so that's all you need to do before you go to bed and just make sure you moisturize your scalp every time every two days and then you can definitely if you feel like you need to moisturize the braids again your the only product that you should be using is a leave-in conditioning spray do not put anything else it doesn't need too much of product because you don't want product to get built up in the braid so maybe like once a week you can use a leave-in conditioning spray if you feel like you need to moisturize if, if your hair gets dry outside depending on the weather but that's pretty much it with the bohemian bath spray it's very easy to maintain not too much just take care of it before you go to bed get up the next day and go and you can do different styles with it <coughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this course. So thank you so much for taking your time out and I hope that you really learned all you need to learn with the Bohemian Bath Sprays. Again, feel free to ask any questions. Leave all your questions in the comment section and I will definitely answer all of your questions. Okay.